is Soulless OS. We are going to be taking a look at that right now on the Linux Lounge. Welcome to Linux Lounge. This distribution, for the most part, is kind of targeted towards new users, but they also make a point of saying on their site that it's quite good for, uh, you know, gaming, creative stuff, and office and homework. Which, yeah, I suppose it would be. The Linux platform is quite good for this. Now, I'm not really sure what it's based off. Um, basically couldn't find anything online. Apparently it uses the forked version of a certain package manager. Now, I found an old site that said it was based off Debian, but I'm not sure if that's still the case. Now, the one noteworthy feature about this um, Linux distribution is that it uses the uh, Budgie desktop. I believe it might be developed in-house by Solus themselves, but once again, another thing I'm not particularly sure about. Um, and first impressions is, this distribution is in fact really nice. Now mind you, that's just the budget desktop there, and if you don't want to use Solus in particular, you can in fact go ahead and use Ubuntu Budgie or many other distributions that are now based up use the uh, Budgie desktop. And I must say, some people don't like it, but to be quite honest, I do like it. It's clean, it's simple, and it's kind of like a bit of a weird mishmash between, you know, the Pantheon desktop and obviously GNOME. Um, and I think it's even got a bit of, you know, maybe something more traditional like XFCE or something thrown in there with the menu. I don't know. This is kind of my first time using Budgie with... Um, you know, any distribution really. And I must say, I'm impressed. Well, first impressions is very nice wallpaper, and you've got all your apps up here, but we'll get onto that later. And let's see what they've bundled with this distribution. Starting from the top, we've got your image viewer, which is the standard GNOME image viewer. Files, which is once again the standard GNOME file manager. Although I must say, it does look very nice. The choice of icon themes is very good. Not so fond of the mouse, but you could always change that, so it is what it is. Oh, also, incidentally, I wasn't able to get the VirtualBox uh, guest editions to install. Not sure what that's about. In fact, you can even see it's got a slight transparency. Yeah, a little bit like the um, Mac side of thing. I believe Mac does that. Does Windows do it as well? Don't know, it's been a while since I've used Windows. Um, you've got your software center here, but we'll get on to that later. You've got your settings and you've got your terminal, of course. Once again, transparent again. This is, in fact, a very nice looking distribution. You've got, uh, you know, all your standard calculator. You've got your G Edit. You've got the full LibreOffice suite, which is a pretty good choice to include. Um, you've got your Firefox for your web browser. You've got HexChat, which is kind of an IRC client. Not really sure if I'd be including an IRC client by default, being that the amount of people that use IRC is kind of going down uh, as we speak, much less put it in the dock here, or not the dock, the uh, taskbar as an important application. Uh, but presumably you get support from Linux there quite easily, so I can see why they did it. It's not a heavy app anyway. You've got your uh, Thunderbird Mail. Um, which is an email client, quite a good one as well. Once again, it boils down to does anyone really use email clients anymore? But if you do, it's here for you to use. Um, you've got, you know, your uh, calendar. This is your standard GNOME calendar, really. Um, oh, and I must admit, the uh, hex chat and the email thing, they are good programs because I do use them myself. Um, but let's keep going down, and we've got our transmission, which is a good inclusion. It's a great bit torrent client, I will say. Um, <clears throat> like I say, it's good stuff there. You've got your, um, you know, you've got your MPV and your rhythm box for your music player, and that's about it. It's not really. Oh, also you've got your G parted and all your usual system stuff as well. Also, you have the uh, tweak tool, which is a good inclusion as well, because you can alter all this. And by default, it uses the arc theme, which I will say 
is a very nice theme. Um, so yeah, not really an overly bloated distribution. It only comes with a sort of bare essential apps, which, you know, quite good. I might have gone with a bit more software myself, you know, maybe include VLC or something like that, but then again, you can go out and get it yourself. Now on to the uh, software center. Now, as you can see, there's not really a huge amount of software here, but let's just go over to third party, and as you can see, easy way to install all these quite uh, commonly used third party programs. So you've got Google Chrome, your um, Google Earth, you know, your Viber, your Spotify, that sort of thing. Extremely easy way to install all of these programs without having to go and down hunt them on the web or out of another repository or something like that. And also the WPS Office Suite down here, which is very good. So yeah, it's always good to see a distribution make an easy way to install all these widely used proprietary services, especially when said distribution is going after new users. You've got an updates tab, so the updates is kind of bundled into the software center. Uh, this distribution does in fact take quite the amount of uh, inspiration from Mac, because Mac also does that. Which, like I said, good idea, because copying a successful design will always do well. Um, and you know, you've got all your game stuff and that sort of thing. Now, the one thing I would say is, the choice of software here is... Uh, relatively limit, uh, limited. Now I'm not sure if that's the fault of um, Solar, or if that's the fault of developers. I mean really nobody is, well no, it can't be helped uh, in a manner of speaking but um, now I don't know a lot of stuff seems to be missing you know for example I tried to get VirtualBox on here and it didn't seem to be well anywhere um, and like I say, I'm not quite sure what that's about, but what good is a distribution really if you can't get your uh, software on here? I've also been reminded that yes, there is a Mate version of Solus, which, you know, if you've got like a less powerful computer, that is quite a good option for you. In addition to that, the settings, and if we just bring it up, hmm, apparently I'm doing this wrong. Uh, yeah, I'm very much doing this wrong. There is usually a sort of side panel here that you can pull out. And I cannot for the life of me remember how you do it. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's quite a problem. Yeah, oh, here we go. Yeah, you got to click the little bell and it brings up this. And you can bring up, kind of like I say, also a bit Mac-like here. No problem with that though, copying a successful design is also a good thing. A lot of Linux des uh, desktops are actually picking up on this as well. For example, Deepin is. Uh, you know, you can configure all your themes and your fonts and all that lot, which is, once again, pretty good. Uh, let's, go with, let's go with the usual arc, see what it looks like. Uh, I still prefer the arc dark, but okay. And you can presumably turn off the dark theme turn off the built-in theme to make it kind of go with um, whatever theme you're using but to be quite honest with you it doesn't look that great when you do that um, can you obviously have your desktop icons like that which I'm not sure why that's not enabled by default but some people of course would prefer not to have that and all in all, pretty great distribution, you know, quite, you've got more than one choice of desktop, you know, you can go with your Mate or your Budgie, this is the Budgie. Um, the only thing I would say is the choice of software is a bit limited, I mean all the popular stuff is there, but it's when we get into the realms of, you know, sort of virtual box and that kind of thing that it falls a little bit short. Um, but all in all, it is a good distribution, um, and I certainly recommend giving it a look. Not sure if it would be appropriate for a daily driver, but it is quite a nice distribution. Oh yeah, one last thing we forgot to look at, the uh, bundle desktop backgrounds. <laughs> Not quite sure how I missed that one. 
um, you've got you know a set of rather nice wallpapers here as well so it's also a very nice looking distribution if that's what you're after I think we'll go with that one for the time being but yeah all in all simply put give it a look possibly in a virtual machine because like I said I don't think it's quite daily driver ready yet um, either way I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in another video